What's up, guys? Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes. And today, we're on the Twine meme team. Big ol' smile, because I did take the time yesterday. I did make a ton of food, so we do have that 10-star puppet. We got a 10-star Dominator, and we have a 10-star group. Plus, I literally just found something for us. Maybe, just maybe, we get lucky on the Super Wishing Fountain, because there is a Flora. So we're at 18 Super Wishing Coins. Let's do a 10 bomb right off the bat. Let's see what happens. Okay, nothing there. So what I'm going to do is do something, again, you guys should never do. And that's going to be, wait, not that one. I'm going to buy two, two Super Wishing Coins just so we can do a second 10 bomb. Maybe somehow we get lucky. High roll a copy because it is time to make our second E5 Flora. So let's go. Come on. Oh, I saw a second flash. I thought we had it. No, but we did get some profit orbs. We're up to 11, so let's do a 10 bomb in forest as well. Maybe we get lucky. I got one five star. That's not too bad. Let's do a solo. Ah, oh, nothing there. We do have two more swaps. Maybe we can find a hero copy here. Who do we want to swap? Uh, Demon Hunter. Let's throw Demon Hunter in. Come on, give us. Nah, not Zekis. Not Zekis. Come on, give us a good one. Nah, I said not Zekis. Come on, you guys aren't listening. So. No copies there. We don't have any chests in the bag at this point. We don't have any copies in the bag. We do have a core. What were we doing? Yeah, we were doing the guidance. Why not? Let's send one more core in here just to see. Maybe lucky. Not the Lacium. I mean, that's a good pull, but we don't need the Lacium. Good Lord. Come on, man. All right. So, we already did this, right? I hate sometimes when you log back in and it's like, hey, you need to do this. Just kidding. You actually already did it. Uh, all right. So we are going to need, what, three copies of Flora. We don't have any chilling in the bag from the looks of it. So we need E2, E4, and E5. So that's three more copies that we need. These are going to be the last three we purchase. After this, we are going slow mode because this is going to put us under 400, but we will be fine we'll get back over 400 uh for next week we did also buy another ranger set and we upgraded a five star set so if you check out right here we do have two ranger sets now which is nice um gotta go to the bag grab out those three floors because we have all the food we need let's get going let's get her upgraded now right there first copy there Oh, man, we're running low on promotion stones, actually. We wouldn't even be able to make another E5 just yet, so we are going to have to start doing a little idling. All right, get that E... I keep wanting to say V4 now. I don't know why. I think it's just because we're... Sh we, like, never talk about enabling anymore. We just talk about void imprinting, it feels like. So, feed that Dominator. Last copy there. Enabled. Awesome. Now, I don't know if we have enough gold at this point. That's something we're going to have to look at. Um, let's do that. Let's do something like a 1, 2, 3, 1, 2 setup. I think that's what the other one's using. No. Offensive. Let's go offensive then. Yeah, why not? We'll do something like that. Sure. Um, ba -ba -ba. Ooh, void imprinting. That's the other thing we need to discuss. All right. Let's see how high we can get her level. I don't think we're getting a 345. We might get to like 330. But even that, I mean, that gold is dropping really fast. Ooh, 309. I don't think we have any way to get more gold. We can't really do hand of Midas either because our account level is not that great. So it's going to eat up like tons of resources. And I think mainly a big problem is uh, these aren't leveled up very high right now. Not very high. We're going to have to do some idling. And honestly, this might sound weird, guys. Uh, we'll probably do the Wishing Fountain event however much we can to get resources. Um, I don't think we have any Universal Crystals, right? We only have 587. Probably not enough to get another crown, but we could. If we don't go for the crown, I might just use everything in gold right now. Because uh, that would be great. I mean, honestly, it might even be good if I want to go into our guild tech here. 
Ah, it's 2,000 gems. I don't want to spend it. I was going to say we could regress the mage tech for the Oberons right now and just re-level her up. But I think for the time being, we'll just uh, we'll just have to deal with two Flora. This one is kind of like a tanky one. So honestly, I might as well just go to tanky enables as well. Just make her like a pure tank mode. Maybe put her in the front row. Something like that. That could work out. I'm not against that. Um, imprints. Okay. I kind of want to make both V2, but again, there's one more problem. And that is we would need another 10 star to make void two on both of them. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. What did we have here? We only had one point over, so we were like barely, barely up to there. I guess for the time being, we just have one powered up flora. Yeah, we only have 47,000. We don't have a sphere to convert, I don't believe. Doesn't look like it. So, yeah, I think for the time being, we just leave one of our floras, like, fully maxed out type. Like, yeah, that should be good. Should be good. Let's now see, since we do have multiple floras, let's see what happens if we now take them and bring them into tower because we've been really close when we high roll cc on this wave uh we've actually had a lot of good chances especially when we cc that penny right there that seems to do really good for us oh man we are getting counter oberon twined <laughs> oh we're getting out twined here granted this team literally twines everything on the enemy all of our oberons have uh, an active round one both of the floras can get more twines round two the problem on this team i think is damage we don't really have enough damage to finish them out especially with those amon Ra shields it becomes a big problem i think until we get like some oberons as well like a couple maybe e5 oberons i don't think we're gonna make much progress in tower uh it's gonna be really really difficult beating the mim waves as well like we can cc them just fine and keep them cc'd but we just slowly die off maybe if we had the deer pet it would be better but hey we went with the fun fox pet so yeah <laughs> all right can we get to oh that crew stun was brutal and then followed up with the twine no don't do this to me game i want those 10 super wishing coins i want to try to get another floor but i think at this point um, we're going to leave the two six-star Oberons, and then we're going to take uh, one of the other ones and level him up to E5, I think. I think that's what we want. It sounds like a good idea. Come on. Oh, we killed it. We actually killed someone. <gasps> no, another reflect armor. Yeah, that's not going to happen. So let's jump into Sealand next. We're up to 16. We do have a max pet, which should be very, very helpful. Uh, and let's run it back like this. We have the more aggressive floor in the back, the tanky one in slot one. <sighs> yeah, that's still the problem, is when the boss gets an active in round one, it's just devastating. Granted, we do a really good job twining just everything with this team, uh, even without Ruiz, so maybe it's enough, but the problem is enough damage to take out this boss one-on-one, -on -one because he can like just one-tap us. And eventually, he's going to get to another active, and then just one-tap us again. Oh, come on. We got to get a little lucky here. Don't give him an active round one and we'll have a better chance. There we go. That's much better. Oh, they still die though. Interesting. So there's really no way to keep them alive, it seems like. We do need to make sure we keep everybody twined or kill them off. Uh, that way we're lowering the amount of damage we're taking. Uh, and then, yeah, see, we get one-on-one -on -one, and that active can literally just one-shot us every time because that active from the Abyss Ranger boss has multiple layered attacks and, yeah, it's not fun. Oh, that was actually really good that time. Our Oberon stayed alive to sow more seeds. Uh, I don't know if that's going to help, though. That actually felt a little bit worse for some reason. Nobody's twined. Why is nobody twined? What that? What the what the what? <laughs> what the what? <laughs> oh man, two e five flora, not enough. It seems like. You know, since the Oberons die anyway, I think our better. Oh, well, this one's a lot more damage here. It's just the problem is he keeps healing as his allies die, which, again, we need our shield up for that last active right there. I think we're going to try putting the, the small Oberons back in front just because they're getting they're essentially dying anyway to the, the priest actives or something. So might as well let them tank some hits for us. So both the Floras, well, 
Wow, that tanky flora actually proc round one is kind of crazy. Um, yeah, one of you is going down. The other one's alive, but again, it's just going to bounce between two. I don't think it's enough damage. Oh, it was just enough damage. All right. 17 is done. Not too bad. All right. We, uh, I think that's the problem. We need to make sure we get it like everybody twined round one for us to even have a chance here. Like that's literally the only hope we got. Yeah, this is going to ramp up in difficulty real quick. In the old days, even before all the upgrades to, uh, to you know, monsters and everything, you used to be able to do this with, like, three Oberon, a Valkyrie, a Gru. Like, you used to be able to do this even with very minimal. I say minimal. But back in the day, Forest was one of the few you could get Sealand 20 done with just because of the way Oberons work with their heals and everything. Uh, it was possible. We might have to go back to it and run it back with some higher level Oberons down the road here to get C-Lane 20 done. Everybody's twined at least. Um, neither proc. Uh, there's one proc. Sadly, that warrior got a hit off. That's not good. Well, we got we got some chances maybe. Nope, no chance whatsoever. We die. Ugh. I don't know if we can get 18 done. I don't know. Maybe. Kind of, sort of, maybe. Ooh, that was a really bad one. Yeah, whenever we, we get the boss with an active round one, I think that immediately means we just lose. Like, there's just no hope for us. No hope whatsoever. Last attack for the day. Let's see what we can do. Maybe, kind of. Nope. That's not enough twines. Nope. That was like the worst. I'm not even going to watch it. That was the worst one. So, we did get up to 17. We're on 18. Uh, We can buy one. Of Actually, might as well just buy all of these. We got 99 of them. So close. I think we actually had one. Oh, actually, we had more than one. Interesting. Well, fingers crossed, more twine heroes. That's such a tease. I really thought we were going to get something good there. Ah, uh, more forest heroes, but not the right forest heroes. So let's do the last thing here. Let's jump into Aspen Dungeon and see what we can do. Six demon potions. I mean, it is what it is. Maybe we can get, ooh, we got some profit orbs. We're definitely buying those. Uh, we'll buy wishing coins. Yep. Yep. Give me all the profit orbs. Another one. Nice. Getting out of here with seven profit orbs. I will take it. Um, and I think we should probably start. Oh, no. We can't even buy those. Good Lord. I just bought them. Like, wait. That was like all of our gold that we had left over. Rip. <laughs> See if there's anything else good in here. Um, any coins? I think coins. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. All right. So. I wonder if, like, a five-star can do this. This should be interesting. Let's see what happens. I think the twine... Yeah, eventually the twine's gonna run out and not gonna be able to do it. Um, Let's use the tankier Flora first and see what happens. She does have healing. Um, Again, Flora does not excel in solo battles just because of the fact that her active only hits one target. Because it can't bounce anywhere else. Um, But a double, this could be interesting. Especially with a round one active... We could cheese a lot of these waves just by how much we twine them. Well, that's, I mean, we're doing pretty good. This is a V0 Flora as well. Just remember that as well. Uh, the other one is going to be the more powerful one. Has a crown, so I'll kind of save her for the more difficult waves. Although, maybe we should try to farm energy on her. Ooh, we got energy on this one, so we will definitely hold that energy. Uh, Valkyrie looks dangerous, though. I don't know how we're going to do against Valkyries. Not bad. I mean, she is V3, uh, and we're facing a lot of Gru waves. It's not like we're coming up against Ada waves. So not that difficult. Uh, can we two-tap here? Ah, oh, the poison killed. No, we could have got energy. Uh, this one looks scary, but we should be fine. Man, her basic actually is hitting them for half their health bar. That's pretty crazy. Healing's not an issue for her either because her basic has a heal tied to it. She's healing for like 2 million a basic. That's that's pretty solid overall. Okay, yep. Question is, do we need to use a demon potion? I don't think so. Energy round one. Uh, she got the curse up. The shield's going up. I think we're going to be fine. Yeah, okay. So I think a lot of the waves with the V3, as long as we have an active round one, we should be okay. 
Um, we don't need a full heal because her basic will heal her up, I believe. Almost full. So we need to get like maybe within 20% HP and then we'll be good. Two tap. Two tap. Man, that'd be kind of crazy if Flora is actually a good one to farm energy with. Double Ada. Yeah, we're going to definitely go with the stronger one here. Definitely, definitely. Wow. I mean, I know we're only in death, like, <laughs> I know we're just going from death 1 to death 50, but Flora's doing better than I was expecting. A lot of these waves, I'm just going to be skipping along. Uh, let's go with the tanky one versus Shia's. I want to save energy on the stronger one. Wow. Okay. I mean, she's got that poison too, which is extra damage. I really like it. And you got to remember, this is like with no real... I mean, we have a crown and a runes power, but I mean, the crown's not doing that much. It could just be another runes power. This is pretty strong. I mean, granted, we have like pretty much full guild tech for rangers, like including anti-priest. Um, so we do have a tanky Flora. Can she take her? Let, let's see. Solo Ada... I'm not sure what's going to happen here. She might just do too much damage. We're keeping ahead of her, though. The healing on Flora is really good. My goodness. Um, I don't really want to risk it. Let's just use the more powerful Flora here. Uh, I don't want those shields to start, like, really counteracting our heal and our big burst. Uh, and now we can farm with the V3 version as well. All right, back to 60 energy. Um, yeah, so we will use the energy on this one now. I think she'll still be fine. Oh, wow, she does a lot less damage, doesn't she? E I think she might die here. Yep, she's going to die. So the V3 actually has a ton more damage between the stone, the V3 imprints and everything. Um, definitely need to use the other one just to farm some energy on while the other one doesn't or i mean while while the main flora has energy um that's when we're going to use that other flora in just about all the ada waves and such i think we are going to have to use our main flora here but i think with two floors we could honestly make it to death 50 especially with v3 like that seems really strong oh nice we get energy off that sweet uh, perfect, because we definitely need energy against the double penny wave. Yep, we got to kill them off. And man, you know what? The more I think about this, I wonder what she would be like if she had like... Uh... Man, if she had like an upgraded Punisher staff, I do think we're going to need energy here though. Valkyries are very, very tanky and they do a ton of damage. Granted, we have a crown for all damage reduced, which will help with the burn dots. Um... Maybe she could have done it without energy. Uh, we are definitely going to need energy on this wave. Otherwise, we don't get an active off. I really want to kill the Amon Ra, but... Oh, it just seems to not be working lately. Ever. Oh, no. We're going to die to the healing curse. Oh, my God. We barely lived. Oh, all right. We need some easy waves. Come on. We're up to death 25 already. That's pretty good. I think that's the furthest we've been on this account now. I think that is let's actually check our record yeah today is the new record all right so let's keep on pushing i think this is pretty easy energy in energy out i wonder if an oberon can take this <laughs> no not a chance the counter attack alone just completely destroys an oberon yeah i mean v3 V3 is pretty strong. Imagine if she was V4. I mean, one day we might. Uh, luckily, we do have energy for this, so we should kill one of them. Or neither, but I mean, that's still fine because the the basic really hits hard with the V2 imprint. Um, like, really hard, so that's really nice to see. Man. Like, the duo waves seem to be one of the best. All right, definitely energy, and we still might die here. I don't want to use a second one. We might die, though, honestly. You know what? Let's just see if we can weaken them up a little bit. Just a little bit of damage. <laughs> All right. Come on. Please kill the pennies. Don't let the pennies live. Oh, no. Oh, this is so bad. Yeah. Oh, I guess on this wave, 
we probably need to use two maybe even three demon potions but hey we got to death 30 i feel like that's an accomplishment for what we have here like definitely definitely an accomplishment still no skin we'll have to wait for that i guess for the time being we what we just keep putting points in here i guess i could have done that beforehand and maybe that would have made a difference somewhere i don't know man if we can get her to v4 but again five million that is a lot of stellar shards so flora project's done uh we're gonna leave these two oberons as is and then we're gonna start leveling up one of these oberons i think uh we we have a few copies in the bag we got two more in the bag still um still trying to decide if i want to do more loops here for more oberon copies I haven't decided but uh we are gonna save up all the rest of our relics for glorious boost so yeah i mean next week maybe we buy the package to get the universal crystal shards and then maybe we work on an upgraded crown maybe that could be really good on flora as well because she does have good sustain we'll have to see so let me know what you guys think hopefully you guys are enjoying the twine meme team i really am it's like a dream come true it's something i've always talked about but i never wanted to do from scratch because of course the twine meme team is going to be absolutely horrible in every pve scenario <laughs> So it's like at least recovering our royalty meme team account and converting it over. We had a lot of the PVE stuff already taken care of. So that was really nice to see. And we will continue building. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Let me know what you think about the Twine meme team. Hopefully we build some Oberons pretty quick as well. And I'll see you guys next time.